morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning, July 14th. The computer just turned on. That's how I know. <laughs> it's 9.18 a.m. <coughs> I sound a little funny, don't I? I might need an allergy pill. Um, especially because we're getting ready to go out with the kids that are going to meet us here in a few minutes. And we're going to go out to a car show in McMinnville, Oregon. And then... Um, and then to late lunch, early dinner, something like that. So anyway, um, it should be fun, a fun day. Um, I got this shirt yesterday at one of the thrift stores. It has the Wicked Witch, the stepmother from Snow White. It says, so many curses, so little time. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, um, it was like $4, I think. Anyway, I've got some reorganizing here on the table behind me to do, which is not going to get done right now, but I should have done it yesterday, but you know, anyway, I'm going to bring you with us to the show and we will, um, see how, see where we get and what happens. And yeah, I'm going to have some more coffee first. I really need it. All right. I'm going to just back. put this out there. So if you're trying to join one of my Facebook art groups, welcome. But in order to join, you have to answer the questions. If you're on a device that doesn't allow you to see said questions, try the browser in your device. Instead of going through the Facebook app, go through your browser on your device, whether it be Chrome or Safari or Mozilla, whatever, Firefox, whatever it is, use the browser on your app and log into Facebook that way. And then try to join and then answer the questions. If you don't answer the questions, you're probably gonna get declined. Just FYI. So that was pretty funny. I didn't catch any of it on camera. But our Lily Bean, she's got her own fan club here in Oregon. Lily, Lily, up. There we go. Yes. So she did that to a stranger. Lily, the next thing you know, Lily, there was, up. what, 10 people yeah. that wanted to pet her. All taking turns. It's all good. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, July 15th, 9.48 a.m. Don't get excited. I'm at the desk by the computer. See? Um, it's been an interesting start to the day. Um, I woke up to some good friends um, wishing me good morning, which is great. Um, I sold one of my paper clips that I've been making and sharing on social media. The first one that somebody said, can I buy that? And I said, uh, okay. So that was interesting. I'll insert the picture of the one that sold here. Um, Jill, thank you very much for supporting the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups by buying a paperclip. Thank you. Um, so for future reference, if I make something that you guys are interested in buying, it's not listed in Etsy or anywhere, and you want to support the free content by buying that piece of art, ask. Because maybe it's for, maybe it's not for sale, but maybe it is. So... All I can do is say no. That's the worst that could happen, right? Um, anyway, then I had some crazy snarky YouTube comments. And yeah, so that was an issue. And I had to delete them. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to finish my social media stuff. And then I've got to get said paperclip in the mail. So I'll okay, be Hey guys, back. it is Tuesday morning, July 16th, 9.52 a.m. Because I'm editing last week's vlog. That's how I know that. <laughs> Um, I've got the vlog to edit and two other um, videos that are on the SD card. Anyway, and I am just up here sipping some water and editing the video and yeah, avoiding laundry because that's a thing. All right, I'll be Nothing back. like editing a video, saving it, rendering it, and then realizing you left out like four clips at the end and having to do it all over again. That's evidently a thing today. Who knew? Good morning. It's just after 9 a.m. Wednesday, July 17th. Don't get all excited. I've obviously already been upstairs at the computer. That's the only reason I know the day and date and time. Let's be honest. Um, I've had two cups of coffee. I really feel like I need an 
another one. Yeah, so I got all my social media stuff done and I was chatting with my friend Peg Robinson. I got a few things done, um, but I need to go like put something besides pajamas on and maybe make that cup, other cup of coffee. So I'm going to go get to it. Hey guys, back. it is still Wednesday. It's about 20 after 5 and I forgot to do any more vlogging today because, you know, I just forgot. <laughs> I was chatting with some more friends online and we were talking about some art stuff and ideas, sharing some co collaboration ideas, and I was cleaning up upstairs in the art room. I need to head upstairs and turn off the computer, but I gotta do laundry first. Um, when I was moving things around in the art room, I found one and a half packs of solar print paper, which I forgot I had, I bought before we moved, and I'll insert some pictures or video here um, of the prints that I made. Some of them turned out great, some didn't. And if you don't know what solar print paper is and um, you would like to know, um, maybe have a video on it, you can leave something in the comments below. I do think I did a video on it before I moved, but I don't remember now how comprehensive the video was. I will look it up, but if I find something when I'm editing this vlog, I'll put it down below. But it's basically a special kind of paper that you put opaque items on top of like leaves, flowers, but you could also use um, die cut cardstock. Um, I did one with lace, all kinds of items on top of the paper, weigh them down with a piece of glass, leave it out in the sun, and when the paper turns from blue to white, it's ready. So then you pull everything off of it, you rinse it off for one minute in water, and then you let it dry and you end up with these prints. It's pretty cool. So anyway, um, I did that today, and I just got wrapped up with that and doing laundry. Oh, anyway. What are you going to do? All right, I'm going to do some laundry and go turn my computer off upstairs and all of that stuff. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning, July something. 18th, I think, maybe? I don't know. I know it's Thursday. That's uh, 16. Yeah, July 18th, if I count in my head. And it's 10.21 a.m., a little later than I anticipated getting out of the house this morning, but that's okay. I spent the morning talking with my friend Leslie McGrath from Leslie's Creative Studio, and we were um, troubleshooting some video um, editing issues she's having and filming and audio issues. I have an all Apple setup. She's got a PC setup, so... I'm only really able to help her so far. That being said, I used to have a PC setup, so, but it's been a while. That was pre-Windows 10. Um, but I think I gave her some ideas of what she can try. She's probably going to put out a test video, and if she does, um, and you're a subscriber over there, um, go watch for it and leave her some input. Um, I'll put her channel in the description below. I also was up kind of late last night and early this morning, of course, doing my social media thing and all of that, but also um, setting up and mass editing all of these stencil listings over in Etsy. So as of yesterday, all stencils have the option of being ordered naked. If you put that in the notation section of your order, you will get a $1 refund for every stencil that you order um, naked, which means no packaging. Don't get your mind out of the gutter. It means no packaging. So you'll just get the stencils in a, you know, nicely packaged still in an envelope, but you just won't get the plastic bag and the insert. Um, so it's just another option. Um, your order does have to be $35 or more to get free shipping. And, um... There is some discount codes. I'll leave all of that in the description below. You, um, After all discounts and refunds, your order still needs to be $35 to get free shipping, just FYI. Um, that's per Etsy, not me, just FYI. Um, anyway, what else? I'm going to go mail a package to Leslie. I've got to mail her something too, and I need to go to the grocery store. Um, then I've got some little journals I've got to make. The covers are, have been ready for a while, let's be honest, and I haven't done anything with them yet. Um, so I've got to get those done, and of course today's tag and paperclip, 
and I don't know, probably five other things I can't think of right now. <laughs> so I'm going to go run errands first and then I'll be back. I do want to say that um, I'm getting a lot of friend requests over on Facebook right now and uh, on my personal page, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, I do have a Facebook group for YouTube fans and friends and like-minded friends called A Life of Art and Self-Expression. So if you'd like to see what I'm up to on uh, Facebook, you can follow me there. If you're somebody who's trying to friend me on my personal page and we don't have anybody in common and you have no friends or no content that's public on Facebook, um, I'm probably not going to approve the friend requests, just FYI. I do need to start being cautious um, and careful about who sees my personal content and um, I get a lot of trolls. So if you've tried to friend me on my personal page on Facebook and you never heard back or the request was never approved, that might be why. Um, go join a life of art and self-expression. Make sure you answer the questions. That's the other thing. With any and all groups that I am admin on, there are admission questions that we do require you to answer. And if you don't answer them, you're probably not going to get in. <laughs> Again, it's a security thing to make sure the groups are a safe, clean, inspiring place for everyone. And um, even with all of the precautions we take, we still get people that slip through the cracks. But we are trying. So we would appreciate your cooperation by answering the questions. And, um, you know, if you want to follow me over on social media, it's probably best to try to join the group and easiest than to try to personally follow me on Facebook, unless we have lots of like-minded people in common, like Shannon Green and I don't know, you all know who they are. Anyway, I'm going to go mail my package now. I'll be back. I can just sit down and like intend on maybe eating lunch and reading a little bit of a book. And the next thing you know, you're done with said book, and it's 5 o'clock. Yeah. Welcome to my world. Oops. I don't know if I've mentioned it before. I think I have, but I had years and years ago, I had surgery on both my feet. I had a pretty severe case of bunions, cysts. I've got extra bones in both feet, tendon issues, and heel spurs. That was the only thing they couldn't fix with the heel spurs. <laughs> Anyway, I did have cortisone shots in both feet uh, during surgery. Um, they haven't bothered me up until till now. It's been a really long time, at least 10 years. Um, but one of my feet is bothering me. Actually, today it's feeling better. Um, remembering to wear my orthotics and, yeah, not walk around too much in my flip-flops. Because, you know, they're really not that good for my feet. They're cute and all, but, you know, I guess that's a matter of opinion, too, anyways. So I'm taking it easy. One of my feet's bothering me. I really kind of miss going walking with Bob uh, in the evenings, but for right now, I need to take it easy on my foot because doing any extra walking with or without the tennis shoes is not helping. Taking it easy is helping, and it's actually getting a little better. So I've got to reduce the inflammation in my foot. Yeah, don't want to go to the doctor, so, you know. There you have I don't it. think I vlogged today. Oops. I've been home working all day, filling Etsy orders, photographing things for the charity auction. Now the kids are over and we're having dinner. We grilled some chicken. So it's just been a busy, busy, busy day. I'll vlog more later. Right now I'm going to eat my chicken. I'll be back. I would say good morning, but it's afternoon. It's Saturday, July 20th, I think, right? Maybe? The 20th. Yeah. The 20th. You hear that rattling? Yeah, we purged a bunch of kitchen stuff, just like phase one of a, what's going to be a three or four stage purge, I think. But we have a load of china and glassware in the back. 
<laughs> it's rattling a little bit. We're trying to get it over to donation without breaking anything. Um, I've got to drop off some Etsy orders first. So anyway, we're going to get that done and I'll hey be guys, back. It is still Saturday uh, evening, 5, 10 p.m. July 20th still. So. We're obviously home from running errands. It's really hot out. We've got the air on. That's at the note. If you can hear something blowing in the background, it's because my desk is right under the air conditioner vent. So sorry. Let's turn this off so we don't have. That's better. I've been. Uh, I spent the afternoon creating a fundraiser charity event for um, somebody in our art community here on YouTube whose uh, family and husband are suffering uh, from cancer, unfortunately, and um, it doesn't look good. So we are doing our small part um, to raise some funds for them, and we have a charity of auction event coming up August 1st to the 8th. Um, the auctions will close on the 8th, and um, we have a limited number of boxes, which include original art and supplies, some of which are um, unique to this auction. For instance, I have created a custom stencil um, a particular one, a four square, if you know my store, I have a set of stencils that have four small designs on them. I've created one especially for this event, this one. It will only, this is going to be our charity event stencil going forward. So it will only be available when I'm trying to uh, raise funds for a good cause or to support a fellow artist in need. That's the only time you're going to ever see this one. And when will the next time be? I have no idea. You may not see it for two years. So if you want one of these, you need to bid on one of the auction boxes. There's a very, very, very limited number of them in my Etsy store. Again, they won't go for sale till August 1st. And once they're gone, that's it. Um, I do have some full-size um, designs. These are made to go with the palm stencil. Now, the full-size palm stencil is the only one that you can get year round in my Etsy shop, it's this one. Um, so if you have that one or you wanna buy that one, it is available in the store. These particular ones in full size to go with a full size palm, again, will only be available when we're having a charity event. So there are limited number of these available, these full size ones. And they are in the Etsy shop starting August 1st. Once they're gone, that's it. And then the charity auction boxes contain original art, and one four square stencil and a bunch of other supplies and things that were donated by my design team and myself. Um, some art made by myself and or friends uh, from the past from my collection. Um, I, um, there's a lot of stuff. There's very detailed pictures in the event. I'm gonna include the link for the event in the description below. So get your pocketbooks out, be ready August 1st. The auction uh, bidding will close on the 8th and the highest bid wins the box. Um, so yeah. Unfortunately, this is something that um, just seems to be happening more and more in our community. I, I don't know. Anyway, I am going to finish up here at the computer. I still have to make today, today's tag and paperclip, and I need to do some drawing, but I don't know. We'll see if I'm motivated. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. I think the auction event is done for the moment, ready to go on the first. It's being advertised and promoted slowly. My daughter, who happens to be in advertising and graphic design, is helping me with the images, the logo, and I sent her a bunch of pictures I took with my phone, and she's going to do her thing to them, jazz them up. Um, Hopefully what I took is good enough and there's something usable in there because I already sealed the boxes, so yeah, let's hope so. All right, I'm going to go downstairs. We're going to figure out, I think, what we're going to do for dinner and chill and relax. It's been a fun week. Um, I hope you've had a good week. Um, yeah, and that you've just enjoyed things. I certainly have, although it's been a busy, hot week. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's been interesting, crazy, strange time. I don't know. Anyway, 
there is still free shipping over in the Etsy shop for orders of $35 or more. If you want to order stencils and you want them naked, you just put something in the comments of your order and I'll refund you $1 for every stencil you do order. The total after refund still has to reach $35, just FYI. Anyway, you all, there's also a coupon code in the description below the video for a discount on everything in the Etsy shop. So um, there will be, as, as I said earlier, limited edition stencils for the charity auction. They won't be re-released until we have the next charity auction. And right now I don't know when that's going to be. So anyway, that's it for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out that video description for every, any relevant links, including my link tree list of links, which includes my social media links, my Etsy shop, the Amazon affiliate store, where to buy my book, all that stuff. So check that out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.